Hello, welcome back to part 25 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content. Send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this tutorial we're going to create the map class and we're going to do that in our Pac-Man tutorial project. So let's do that. Go to projects, add class and we call it the map.cs. Okay, so press add. And the first thing we need to do is add the uh, pathfinding data reference to our Pac-Man class, uh, to our Pac-Man project. So click on the reference tab, right click and add a reference. And we're going to add the pathfinding data reference. So press OK. And now we have here the pathfinding data add to the reference of our Pac-Man project. Now we're going to copy the using block statement from the object class. Just like this. And we're going to add a using statement. So using and it, it's the pathfinding data. So now we can use the pathfinding data. And it's a public class. So public class map. And now we can define some private variable. So private int number columns. That's the amount of columns in the map. Right? And we have a private int number rows. And that's the amount of rows in the map. Right? And we have a private int current map. And it's default zero. And that's the index for the map data list. So we can use multiple maps. And now we're going to create the map data list. So private list map data. And we call it maps. Right? Map data list. And it contains all maps. Alright? And the last variable is a, a private a map tile type. And it's a two-dimensional array, so we call it the map tiles. Okay, and it's the map tile type array. It's an array with the map tiles. Okay. And that's our the private variable. Okay. And now we need to load the contents for the map. So let's build the load content function here. It's a public voids loads contents and we need the content manager and the first thing we're gonna do here is create a new map data list so 
create a new MIP data list. So we can say here MIPS is new list map data. Alright. And now we can load the map data from file and add it to the map list. Alright. So we can say here maps lips maps add. And then we say contents dot load. And we're gonna load the map data. And the map data it's the map data from the pathfinding of the pathfinding data from the map data file. Right? And our XML file is in our maps folder. And we call it the map1. Alright, so we load the map data and we're gonna add it to the maps list. And now we're gonna set our map data. And that's a function we're gonna need to create. So set the map data into the map tiles. And the function called map set map data. Alright. And that's a function we need to build, so let's do that. So load the contents for the map. And that's the content manager. Loads content. And now we're going to build the set map data function. And the first thing we're going to do here is get the data from the XML file. So and we're going to say here that the number of columns is equals to the maps and the index is the current map and the field is number of columns. That's the field from the XML file. And we're going to do now the same for the rows. So number of rows is equals to maps current map number of rows right and now we can create the the map tile array so we can say here that map tiles is equals to a new map tile type and it's a two dimensional array so we can say here now number of columns and number of rows right set the map data Right. So just like this. And now we have built our map class. 
we're going to implement it in our game class of the Pac-Man game. And the first thing we need to do is define the map. And we're going to do that in the public section. So let's do that here. It's a public static map. And we call it map. Right? We represent the map object. And now we have defined the map. We need to create a map. And we're going to do that in the constructor. So let's do that here. Create a new map object. So we can say here now, map is new map. Right? And now we need to load the content for the map. So we go to the load content. And we can say here, load the content for the map object. So we can say here, map load content and we pass the content manager, right? And if we want to test if it works, we need to set a breakpoint. So we're going to do that in our map class. So go to the map class and in the set map data function, we're going to set a breakpoint on the number of rows. So at the left side, you're going to press here. And now we have to set a breakpoint just at the number of rows. So let's start it up now. And as you can see, it stops now here at the breakpoint. And what we can do now in the watch fenster, and if it's not pops up on your screen, you can go to the debug fenster, go to Windows, and select the watch. Right? What we can do now here in the watch fenster is enter the name of the variable we want to see. So number columns and as you can see it has now the value 28. Right? And as we enter now the number rows, it has the value 0 because it's not executed. And if we now go to the debug menu, just here at the top, and we press the step into button, you can see now that the number of rows is 36. Right? And let's enter the map tiles. That's null, because it's not created. And if you do one step further, it creates the map tile array now. And as you can see, the map tile array has now a dimension of 28 by 36. And if we open it, you can see that all the values have the value map empty. And that is what we need to change. And we're going to do that in the next tutorial where we're going to use our map builder tool to get the collision data from our Pac-Man maze. Right? So, I hope you enjoy and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.